Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in Leningrad, Russian SFSR, Soviet Union, now St. Petersburg, Russia, the youngest of three children of Vladimir Spiridonovich Putin, 1911-1999, and Maria Ivanovna Putina, née Shelomova, 1911-1998. Spiridon Putin, Vladimir Putin's grandfather, was a personal cook to Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin. Putin's birth was preceded by the deaths of two brothers, Victor and Albert, born in the mid-1930s. Albert died in infancy and Victor died of diphtheria during the siege of Leningrad by Nazi Germany's forces in World War II. Putin's mother was a factory worker and his father was a conscript in the Soviet Navy, serving in the submarine fleet in the early 1930s. Early in World War II, his father served in the destruction battalion of the NKVD. Later, he was transferred to the regular army and was severely wounded in 1942. Putin's maternal grandmother was killed by the German occupiers of Tver region in 1941, and his maternal uncles disappeared on the Eastern Front during World War II. On September 1, 1960, Putin started at school now. 193 at Boskov Lane, near his home. He was one of a few in the class of approximately 45 pupils who were not yet members of the Young Pioneer Organization. At age 12, he began to practice Samba and Judo. In his free time he enjoyed reading on Marx, Engels, and Lenin. Putin studied German at St. Petersburg High School 281 and speaks German. Putin studied law at the Leningrad State University named after Andrei Zhidanov, now St. Petersburg State University, in 1970 and graduated in 1975. His thesis was on the most favored nation trading principle in international law. While there, he was required to join the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and remained a member until it ceased to exist, it was outlawed in August 1991. Putin met Anatoly Sobchak an assistant professor who taught business law, and later became the co-author of the Russian Constitution and of the corruption schemes persecuted in France. Putin would be influential in Sobchak's career in St. Petersburg. Sobchak would be influential in Putin's career in Moscow. In 1975, Putin joined the KGB and trained at the 401st KGB school in Okta, Leningrad. After training, he worked in the second chief directorate, counterintelligence, before he was transferred to the first chief directorate, where he monitored foreigners and consular officials in Leningrad. In September 1984, Putin was sent to Moscow for further training at the Yuri and Dropov Red Banner Institute. From 1985 to 1990, he served in Dresden, East Germany, using a cover identity as a translator. This period in his career is mostly unclear. After the collapse of the communist East German government, Putin was to resign from active KGB service because of suspicions aroused regarding his loyalty during demonstrations in Dresden and earlier, though the KGB and the Soviet Red Army still operated in Eastern Germany, and he returned to Leningrad in early 1990 as a member of the active reserves, where he worked for about three months with the International Affairs Section of Leningrad State University, reporting to Vice Rector Yuri Molchanov, while working on his doctoral dissertation. In May 1990, Putin was appointed as an advisor on international affairs to the mayor of Leningrad Anatoly Sobchak. In a 2017 interview with Oliver Stone, Putin said that he resigned from the KGB in 1991, following the coup against Mikhail Gorbachev, as he did not agree with what had happened and did not want to be part of the intelligence in the new administration. According to Putin's statements in 2018 and 2021, he may have worked as a private taxi driver to earn extra money, or considered such a job. On June 28, 1991, he became head of the Committee for External Relations of the Mayor's Office, with responsibility for promoting international relations and foreign investments 55, and registering business ventures. On March 26, 1997, President Boris Yeltsin appointed Putin Deputy Chief of the Presidential Staff, a post which he retained until May 1998, and Chief of the Main Control Directorate of the Presidential Property Management Department, until June 1998. His predecessor in this position was Alexei Kudrin, and his successor was Nikolai Patrushev, both future prominent politicians and Putin's associates. Music on May 25, 1998, Putin was appointed first deputy chief of the presidential staff for the regions in succession to Victoria Mitina, and, on 15 July, he was appointed head of the Commission for the Preparation of Agreements on the Delimitation of the Power of the Regions and head of the Federal Center attached to the President, replacing Sergei Shekhar. 
After Putin's appointment, the commission completed no such agreements, although during Sheikh Ray's term as the head of the commission 46 such agreements had been signed. Artlist Later, I. O. after becoming president, Putin cancelled all 46 agreements. On August 9, 1999, Putin was appointed one of three first deputy prime ministers, and later on, that day, was appointed acting prime minister of the government of the Russian Federation by Artlist President Yeltsin. Yeltsin also announced that he wanted to see Putin as his successor. Later on that same day, Putin agreed to run for the presidency. On December 31, 1999, Yeltsin unexpectedly resigned and, according to the Constitution of Russia, Putin became acting president of the Russian Federation. On assuming Music this role, Putin went on a previously scheduled visit to Russian troops in Chechnya. The inauguration of President Putin occurred on May 7, 2000. Putin appointed the Minister of Finance, Mikhail Kasyanov, as the Prime Minister. On March 14, 2004, Putin was elected to the presidency for a second term, receiving 71% of the vote. Putin was barred from a third consecutive term by the Constitution. First Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev was elected his successor. In a power-switching operation on May 8, 2008, only a day after handing the presidency to Medvedev, Putin was appointed Prime Minister of Russia, maintaining his political dominance. On March 4, 2012, Putin won the 2012 Russian presidential elections in the first round, with 63.6% of the vote, despite widespread accusations of vote rigging. Opposition groups accused Putin and the United Russia Party of fraud. While efforts to make the elections transparent were publicized, including the usage of webcams in polling stations, the vote was criticized by the Russian opposition and by international observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe for procedural irregularities.